Yesterday I published a video talking about one thing that I envy of GNOME, but today there's another thing that I envy for GNOME, which is the screenshot tool. The GNOME screenshot tool is just so cool and it's also able to record your screen. And actually back then when I was using GNOME, I did use that tool to record my screen a lot for little things. So it's something that I did miss on Kitty Plasma. Especially if you're into Wayland, then the simplest way to record your screen is somehow OBS. But luckily that seems to be changing. Spectacle, which is the Kiddies application to take screenshots, has been redesigned and this was an effort that required work of more than one developer, of course, and also for a nice period of time. So I'm super thankful to both Noah and uh, Marco for working on this. I actually at Academy uh, in October when we all went, the Arcade developers, I was able to see how this spectacle tool redesign was coming up from the screen of the laptop of Noah. That was actually pretty cool. But now the merge request has been merged. The feature has been uh, announced in the blog post of Need Crumbs, so it's as public as it can get. So let's see how the redesign is. So just to give you an idea of how big the redesign is, we are deleting 3,500 lines of code and we are adding 11,000 new lines. So it's a big, pretty big code, uh, code change and it's not over, this is only part of it. So pretty impressive, I would say. Keep in mind that my personal biggest merge request to KDE are like, 100 of lines and th that's it. I'm not comfortable going more than that. So I'm, I'm truly impressed. And the merge request also has lots of screenshots to see how it actually performs. And the first one is probably like the coolest. This is the new UI that will you will see when you're doing a full screen capture. So it's not the application, but it's the UI you will see when you know, you're selecting the area of the screen and it's Perfect. It's gorgeous. It's perfect. I don't know what else to say. Like seriously, look, look at it. Yeah. So you select the area of the screen. You have the, that image, you can save it. You can um, show the annotation tools that are underneath here where you can draw lines, you can blur. I, I love blurring and you can also add text or you can add a new screenshot right away. So super cool. Just super. I, I don't know what else to say really. This is, is instead the application that actually shows you the image. Again, this is not the final look. It's still work in progress. It's still being updated and changed. This was only part of it. So you can just get a general idea of kind of how it looks. As an example, I think there is work going on to change these um, options into buttons to actually take new screenshots. So instead of selecting the capture mode and then take a new screenshot, you just click on recta rectangular region and you take a screenshot of a recta rectangular region. That saves a bit of time, I think it's nice. Of course, you can see that the screenshots of the new UI of Spectacle were done with Spectacle, obviously. You can also see that all of the options that you previously had in Spectacle are still here. You also still have the configure for the advanced options, so it seems like no feature was lost. This is the UI of when you're taking a screenshot, but you haven't take, took, you did not take any screenshot before that. So there's no image to, to show, and there's only, you know, the UI. And as an example, you do see here that re rectangular region, all screens, these kind of things are buttons to click. This is when you're trying to annotate an image that has been taken from the Spectacle UI. This is similar to what we had previously, but looks better. You now have this header area on the top, which I think looks gorgeous on all KDE applications. So it's nice to get it. And then of course the edit tools and options for the tool that you've selected and you can just edit the image. I don't know if you knew that Spectacle has this, like you can take a screenshot and then edit it right away from the application itself. You can do that already. This redesign is making it prettier. What else? You've got the menu with all the options. If you're interested in that, just to make sure that you're not losing anything if you, if you were worried, the help menu. And finally, the options for annotation, this one. So is it just like making the UI prettier? Of course not. 
of course not. And you can just guess that <laughs> even just from the amount of bug reports that this merge request fixes. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This merge request, sorry, I meant to say merge request, fixes 11 bug reports. So that's pretty impressive. This also mostly ports the UI from Qt widgets to QML, if I understood this correctly. There's still some Qt widgets pieces I've, as highlighted in the merge request, but in general, having something in QML makes it much easier to maintain and update and improve throughout uh, the years. Finally, the most interesting part is the very last sentence, which is there is some unused code in this patch that is meant for the upcoming video recording feature. There has been lots of talk also in the visual design room, which is public, by the way, about bringing video recording to spectacle, which would be amazing, just amazing. So if you like today's screenshots of your system, personally, I already thought that spectacle was like one of the very best tools to take screenshot after this redesign even more so. And if it gets, and hopefully it will, video recording features, that's it, that, that's the application. I'm never going to use anything but spectacle again.